Well, after a chlorine pump malfunction that we just mentioned of, again, sending more than two dozen people to the hospital, we wanted to know what are the rules and regulations to keep public pools safe and healthy? And could anything have been done differently yesterday in this situation? ABC 4's Rosie Nguyen went to Utah County Health Department to find this out. The Utah County Health Department says they were just here two weeks ago to do their preseason inspection. They say the pool passed all 28 requirements of the inspection then and again today when they came back for a second inspection. Veterans Memorial Pool remained empty Wednesday afternoon as investigators try to figure out why a broken pump turned back on Tuesday and delivered a quote inordinate amount of chlorine into the pool. According to the Utah County Health Department, every public pool must pass an extensive checklist before it can open for business. It's a, it's a lot of things. It's the mechanical equipment, if it's in good working order and working the way it's supposed to, chemical balance, you know, what chemicals are in the pool, disinfectant, you know, to kill a bacteria that caused disease. Veterans Memorial Pool passed inspection on May 17th with flying colors, leaving officials to believe this was just an unforeseen event. The last time something similar like this happened was in 2017 when a faulty chlorine jet led to an evacuation at Seven Peaks. It doesn't happen very often, thankfully. <laughs> thankfully for us and thankfully for the public mostly, that they can feel safe going to the pools and knowing that they're inspected regularly and that we're addressing issues as they come along. City officials say 26 people were transported to the hospital with more who sought treatment on their own. For those who will incur medical bills from this incident. The city is insured. They can come down to a city hall and meet with our city recorder and file a claim to our insurance. Reporting in Pleasant Grove, Rosie Nguyen, ABC4 News. Thank you, Rosie. Well, officials with the city of Pleasant Grove say they'll be releasing an update on the investigation in the next few hours. We'll, of course, have the latest on air and online at abc4.com.